Hello everybody, my name is Adrian and I'm here to help you set up MetaMod and SourceMod for your Counter-Strike Global Offensive dedicated server. Now if you do not already have a server set up, make sure to go watch my other video on how to set up a CSGO dedicated server. A link for that video will appear on your screen right about now. Now source mode and meta mode. Um, meta mode allows source mode to work and source mode allows you to use a easy to use admin panel on your server. Now first thing we're going to do after of course uh, setting up the dedicated server itself uh, is we're going to download meta mode and source mode. Now um, before I start this off, I'll say that all the all the links and also all of the instructions in this video will be in the video description. So make sure you have a look at that. Now, first website we're going to go to is sourcemm.net. Again, the links will be in the description. Now, since our server or the one that I set up anyway, was in Windows. We're going to click the first link, link up here and we're going to choose any of these servers. It's going to download a zip file. I'm just going to leave that there for a minute. Next thing, we're going to make your PDF. You're going to press, press this link and you're going to choose in the drop down menu Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Ignore the text box and press generate metamod.vdf. Next website we're going to go to is sourcemod.net. And right up here by the downloads, we're going to click releases. And again, we're going to get the Windows one. And it doesn't matter which server you download it off. Okay, now I've got these three files, two zip files and the metamod.vdf file. I'm going to create a folder on my desktop. It does not matter what you call it because you won't need it anymore after, after using it. And I'm going to move all three of these files into that folder. There we go. Um, your files won't have a 2 behind them, that's only because I've downloaded them a couple of times already. So I'm just going to that, edit that out of this one, there we go. And then I'm going to extract both of these zip files in the same folder. Now before I do that I'll show you, both in the meta mode and in the source spot folder, or zip file rather, there will be an add-ons folder. As you can see there's one right there and there's one right here as well. Now you want those two to merge into one add-ons folder. So I use 7-zip to extract both of them here. Um, it doesn't matter what program you use. But just make sure the add-ons folders merge. And it should look a bit like this. Now I'm going to get rid of the two zip files because I won't need them anymore. And I'm going to drag the metamod.vdf file we created into the add-ons folder. It's going to ask us if we want to overwrite the, uh, the, the VDF file that's already in there. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to have two folders right here. The add-ons folder and a CFG folder. And we're going to move these into the server files. So I'm going to open up the folder that I installed my dedicated server in, which is right here, and then I'm going to go into the CSGO folder, and I'm going to drag both of these in there. It's going to ask you if you want to merge them again, and press yes. Now, um, before you did this, there wouldn't have been there there, yeah, there wouldn't have been a, an add-ons folder yet. So if you did it right, there should be an add-ons folder with the meta mod source mod folder 
and the VDF file in them. Now uh, your meta mod and your source mod are set up but you won't be admin on your server yet. Um, you'll have to you'll have to add your Steam ID to the uh, to the source mod file to enable your uh, to to become admin. Um, and to do that, you'll need your Steam ID, of course. Now you used to be able to just write status in console while you were in a server, and that would give you your Steam ID. Um, it still does that, but it's, it doesn't actually give you your correct Steam ID. So if you get a Steam ID of that, it's not right. There's a very easy way to get it, and I'll show you that as well. Again, the link for that will be in the description. I'm going to go to steamidfinder.com. Right here, it's going to ask you for either your custom URL. Um, you can also use your Steam account name, though, the one that you use to log in if you're not sure what it is I'll show you the way to get your custom URL now we're going to go into Steam going to go onto your name and click profile and it'll give you the URL right there if it doesn't give you the URL um, go into your settings by right clicking on the icon and then settings I go to the interface tab and make sure the display steam url address bar when available make sure that is checked press ok then it should appear here now i'm going to copy that and paste it in here and then we'll get my steam id and also a link to my steam community page so i'm going to copy the steam id and i'm going to close my browser again um, we're still in the add-ons folder here inside of the dedicated server files we're going to go to source mod um, configs and then admins underscore simple we're going to open that in notepad and all of these by the way are comments you're going to go all the way to the bottom open quotation mark paste your steam id in there close quotation mark open them again and um, on the source mod forums I think you can find the, uh, what all the flags do I'm just going to have a Z here right now um, which means that I get all of the permissions you don't have to add an immunity value or anything of that it's just for well just just read all of this and you'll get it so this will enable me my steam id as an admin if i now come onto the server it'll recognize me as an admin so i can go ahead close i'll ask if i want to save it yes i do i'm going to go back to my dedicated server root folder and i launched the, uh, the server using the batch file we created not using the exe file using the batch file as always i'm going to launch that it's going to launch the server, it's going to take a, a minute. Um, and while it does that, I'm going to launch my CSGO. And I'm going to also play. Press community servers, it'll be in LAN. I'm going to join the server. And when it's loaded in, I can type exclamation mark admin in, uh, in chat and it'll give me the admin menu with player commands, server commands and voting commands. Now there is an easier way to open the admin menu, I'm going to close it there and that is by binding a key to it. Um, now to do this you're going to have to open your console first which you do by pressing the tilde key and then you're going to type bind and then the key that you want I'm going to use P again the command will be in the video description 
sm underscore admin. Now if I'm going to press P, that's going to open up the admin menu and it's also not going to show up in chat. And as you can see, you've got all the commands right here. Server commands, choose map, reload admins. Um, right, that was it. I hope you didn't have too much trouble. It should have been quite simple, I hope. If you have any more trouble, um, post a comment on the video. Um, also, please do like and subscribe if you want. It does help me out a lot. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed.